Hi friends, welcome back to USMLE team. Today's topic is a drug allopurinol. Uh, this is an important drug for USMLE step 1 examination. Here I will be discussing only important points for your USMLE step 1 pharmacology. Uh, before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends to subscribe. If you have any updates about the drug, please update us through the sending by sending personal messages or through the comments. Okay guys, let me start with allopurinol. Uh, it's a drug used primarily to treat hyperuricemia, that is excess of ure uric acid in the blood plasma and its complication including chronic gout. So remember this is a chronic gout. Allopurinol is a purine analog. It is a structural isomer of a hypoxanthine that is naturally occurring purine in the body and is an inhibitor of the enzyme xanthan oxidase. Xanthan oxidase is responsible for the successive uh, oxidation of hypoxanthine and xanthine resulting in the production of uric acid, the product of human purine metabolism. In addition to blocking uric acid production, inhibition of xanthan oxidase causes an increase in the hypoxanthine and xanthine. While xanthan cannot be converted to purine ribotides, hypoxanthan can be salvaged to purine ribotides, adenosine and gonosine monophosphates. Increased level of these ribotides may cause feedback inhibition of amidophosphoribosyl transferase, the first and the late rate limiting enzyme of purine biosynthesis. Allopurinol therefore in decreases the uric acid formation and may also inhibit the purine synthesis. Allopurinol inhibits the breakdown that is the catabolism of the theopurine drug mercaptopurine and all it was specifically invented by uh, scientist uh, Gertrude Elion to enhance the action of mercaptopurine in the treatment of acute lymphoblastic leukemia. However, no improvement in leukemia response was noted with mercaptopurine allopurinol co-therapy and this use of the drug was abandoned. The uses are the gout and the hyperuricemia. Subsequently, uric acid lowering capacity of allopurinol was noted and drug went on to be developed for its more famous use is treat, it, it, to treat hyperuricemia and its complication. Allopurinol does not alleviate um, acute attacks of the gout. This is very important point what I am talking about. It, allopurinol is not for acute gout, remember. So the, suddenly, if the patient comes to your clinic with a sudden pain, um, of gout then uh, don't give allopurinol okay uh, therefore is currently controversy over the issue of whether it can ac actually make acute gout attacks more worse than initially but is useful in chronic gout to prevent future attacks so it's helpful in the chronic uh, because allopurinol is a not a urocosoric it can be used in a patient with a poor kidney function this is very important point this is very very important point for your assembly step one However, allopurinol has two important disadvantages. First, its dosing is complex. Second, some patients are hypersensitive to the drug. Therefore, it is it uses its use requires careful monitoring. Allopurinol has rare but potential fatal adverse effects involving the skin. The most serious adverse effects is a hypersensitivity syndrome consisting of fever, skin rash, and eosinophilia and hepatitis, worsened renal function, and some cases of allopurinol hypersensitivity syndrome. Uh, allopurinol is one of the drugs commonly known to cause Steven Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis to, uh, to life-threatening dermatological conditions. The more common in a less serious rash that leads to discontinuation of this drug, studies have found HLA-B uh, allele uh, as a genetic marker for severe cutaneous adverse reaction that includes Steven Johnson and TEN caused by allopurinol. Um, more rarely, allopurinol can also result in the depression of the bone marrow elements leading to uh, cytopenias as well as aplastic anemia. Moreover, allopurinol can also cause peripheral neuritis in some patients, although this is a rare side effect. Another side effect of allopurinol is interstitial nephritis. So remember these are the important side effects what I am discussing here. Uh, it is suspected to cause congenital malformation when used during the pregnancy and should be avoided whenever possible by the woman trying to conceive. So very important things uh, I discuss about the allopurinol. Thank you so much for watching my video. Take care.